I'm Rosa Groen uh, and I'm a coordinating senior researcher and for this class I coordinated 12 lecturers together with my colleague uh, and the 12 lecturers all have two classes so there's 12 classes of students doing this research project. Uh, I'm Kajol Suko, I'm 21 years old. I'm also studying European Studies at Kent University. But it was a lot of uh, different strong personalities within the group and we had to learn to work together. That was a challenge we overcame eventually. And I think the biggest thing I will take with me is how to interview a person. Like You need to make sure they're comfortable, still have the little small talk and then you have a personal connection but still like a proper interview. So that was a really big thing that we needed to learn and we would have otherwise not done. Facing Europe's Challenges is a European Studies first year project at the end of semester one. It's only three weeks and the students are in a pressure cooker uh, to explore what the situation of labour migrants from the EU are in the EU. So these are labour migrants from Eastern and Southern European countries coming to West, to the West of Europe. And um, the main goal is that they explore what their situation is of the human rights of the labor migrants or the European fundamental rights, basically, and what they can, um, how they can be uh, improved. So how the labor migrants can be better informed about their labor rights and about their human rights. And the students do an interview, so it's qualitative research in um, each of the 12 uh, um, towns that we uh, selected for them. And they, uh, they, with this interview, they explore how the inter information flows for um, European mobile citizens can be improved. Uh, my name is Pepijn Boost. I, I helped out with expanding the questionnaire because there were some interesting things in the, uh, the past work history of our interviewee that we want to ask about. So in this research project, the students are involved and immersed in a new topic for them. It's a very complicated topic because it's about EU migration, internal EU labor migration, and that involves a lot of rules and regulations, but also a lot of um, difficulties because many things happen under the radar. So I think the students will learn from this that uh, first, of course, to do an interview with a transcript uh, online with a group. Second, they learn to work in a group in a pressure cooker. So they learned how to do a project and how to manage their project in three weeks, only three weeks. They learn how to present for a client. So we as the European Impact Hub but also other research groups from GUTS, for example, from um, um, Governance of Urban Transitions uh, uh, Center of Expertise, they come to listen in on the last day of the project to, to look and, and watch their presentation and, and ask questions. So I think this is very helpful for the students to do something for an actual client and to do something that helps um, to, to to solve a puzzle. So each of the groups, there are 48 groups in these 12 classes, will contribute to a bigger puzzle with their small piece. And I think this will this will help them in their future career because they will contribute to a bigger research project. And we um, ask them to raise the same questions for each interviewee. So. Um, and, and they're also allowed to, uh, to add questions themselves. So I think it's really helpful because they speak, someone, uh, speak to someone that is actually working with EU labor migrants. So this makes it a very um, tangible topic for them. And at the same time, they learn a lot about a professional uh, way of uh, communication and uh, doing research. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm 19 years old and I'm studying European Studies at the Hague University. Um, it, it 
was challenging sometimes because of the communication and we have like different perspectives and different ideas. But once we uh, all got one main point, we combined it and it was, like it was a great presentation. Uh, so definitely look for it because you can also apply that to like the work work field. And uh, I think we're going to use that a lot in the, in this studies.